I think gravel is a really interesting topic, to be honest, because it's what it's like the building blocks of road, but it's also what road deteriorates back into. It's not quite a trail, but it's what we build a trail upon generally. So it's like a kind of a lacune between like what is initial and what's the end result, like a liminal space. Gravel is really like a liminal space. So something to think about. Oh, hey, Daniel. This is World of Bikes. It's all like Donkey Kong. Kyle, welcome to World of Bikes episode, uh, I actually don't know, I think it's four. 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 And I want to call this episode something with the word gravel in it, but I don't know what word I want to use. Do I want to call it peak gravel or year of the gravel? What do you want to call it? Bang the gravel. Bang in the gravel. Episode four, bang in the gravel. Wait a minute. Here we gosh darn are in early 2020 where gravel is hopping. I am going to disagree with you. I actually think we're just the beginning at, of gravel. I think we're just like setting off. Okay. Do you want to know how we know it's here the gravel? Yes. We have a bunch of UCI gravel races. In locations that I've heard of before and I want to visit. I say Philippines, you say gravel ride. A hundred percent. I say Poland. The wonderful architecture of the, the, the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Gravel and grit and grind. That feels like something you do in a machine shop. Kettle metal, those are potato chips. Uh -huh. Hall of Fame website, did I tell you that I submitted um, uh, something to the Hall of Fame website, or Gravel Hall of Fame? Like that, that's cool that it's happening and I submitted, I nominated skateboarding. I feel like that's exactly the right thing to nominate. Honestly, I think the Hall of Fames are stupid in general. Like categorically. Like, isn't that just what the internet is now? It's just everybody's Hall of uh. Fame? I've never been to a Hall of Fame. I like the idea of at the gravel world of fame museum that there's like animatronic versions of our fa like you or Ted King. Hi, <laughs> welcome to the gravel hall of fame. Would it just be like IRI would be like <laughs> vitamin G, <laughs> yeah. vitamin G, yeah. vitamin G. Yeah. And speaking of Ted King and I, you guess who's in this episode? Guess who we're going to talk to later, later in the episode. Feels like I should. That should be a real easy one for me. I would say Ted King. No, Jambi Jambi. Ah. Very important person. 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 I'm here with Georgia from Jambi Jambi. For those of you who don't know <laughs> Jambi Jambi, Jambi Jambi has a really uh, vibrant and exciting Instagram account. Jambi Jambi, why are you saving gravel? gravel? <laughs> well, I mean, that's a great question. Why am I saving gravel? Well, I do think that gravel used to be really, really fun and used to be a place where we could all, you know, make a bit of a mess of our lives. Um, and it is getting a little bit serious, just with like the entrance of more serious people. And um, so, yeah, I just want to make sure that we're keeping the fun side alive because otherwise it sort of goes down the track of being not so fun and we have to find a different place to hang out. I like the... Um, the chaotic energy that gravel used to have. I mean, it still has, but I feel like it potentially could be waning. <laughs> like there's always gonna be, like it's like any other sport, there's always a spectrum. Like someone people will take it super seriously and be very competitive about it. And some people will be um, just less competitive and just have a, a more like lateral or kind of like figurative sort of approach to things. Um, and that's great and I love that. If you're wearing a bikini or you're with a bunch of people wearing bikini or something of the similar, um, it's hard to blow past the watering hole. So it sets a tone. If you're yeah. wearing your full lycra, then that also sets a tone. So I use fashion to sort of keep the tone. <laughs> I like that. It's like dress for the ride that you wanna go on. You know, yeah, you know, like, yeah. so like, I, I, I hope that we will find a place to swim. So I'm going to just dress for that. Yeah. In case. Um, it's mostly me saying it's peak gravel. It's me just being, um, uh, someone who's like, well, I, you know, you ruined it. Basically. <laughs> I just want to, I feel like it's ruined, but like, also like, what does that even mean? Like, if I'm being honest, like more people than ever are doing, um, gravel and experiencing bicycles, like as a, as a just type one regular fun tool, um, which is amazing. That's great. I think with gravel, because there's a lot of people that recognize that it's just beginning, we can shape it in the way that we want to. And so there, there has been a bigger push for it to be more relaxed. So um, I think that that will have a huge impact in the long run. 
and um, I think people will still continue to push. So I don't, I honestly think that you should try to think that this is the beginning of gravel because it's like absolutely untapped. There's only like Rafa and I ride for MAP um, Apparel. They've only just started bringing out stuff that is catering towards was gravel. And if that's like, I don't even think that's the sort of like the top head dogs that are tapping into it. Like when it becomes extremely mainstream is when we're starting to think maybe now is the middle section. <laughs> Lost. Okay. Bucket of sand, silt and gravel. Okay. Great sedimental value. <laughs> oh, gravel triathlon. Let me ask you a question. Okay. I know what the gravel of gravel is. And I think I could guess what the gravel of running is. What's swimming gravel? Mm. Like rapids? <laughs> like, like you have like class four rapids? Ooh, that's a good one. I feel like it's like class four rapids mixed with that thing where they you, you have to crawl underneath barbed wire in those military mm -hmm. movies. That's fun. Quicksand. Quicksand. <laughs> that's that's like gravel. Is. That's the gravel of swimming. I love that. So like you gravel of gravel, which we all know mm -hmm. is gravel, mm -hmm. and then you gravel of run, which I think is gonna be trail running. Yeah. Yeah, the, is pretty obvious. And then, you, and then you jump into quicksand. This is like an Xterra, right? This is what we had in the 90s. Yeah. For those of us in the 90s. I used to be embarrassed by my geology fetish. I started off stroking gravel, but now I'm feeling a little bolder. Wow. <laughs> okay. You know, when you're out riding and you're out graveling and you, you kind of think, oh, this could be a road, but it could also be a trail or even a pre-trail. I think gravel is kind of one of those spaces where you can find space, you know, you think about it, it's like the atom, right? Like a road is kind of a coherent, consistent kind of solid material. But when you zoom in on any material, any, any kind of atom or whatever, all of a sudden you see that it's mostly space, right? It's mostly space. Mm. Hey Kyle, mm -hmm. why did a gravel, why did a pile of gravel go to jail? Mm -hmm. Aggravated basalt. Close. As we go on now to the gravel section, this is absolutely critical. And the team Look at this, Kyle. This is, um, they're doing, beautiful. they're doing gravel in road now. So they're introducing gravel to road, which is cool. They're pack racing. They're, that road is so wide. It's very sandy. Mm -hmm. I wonder, is sand the next thing? Like if this is year of the gravel, is, is next year year of the sand? Is that's the from the like Saudi, that's from the Saudi tour. Yeah, it's from the Saudi tour. Very cool, kind country. I mean, everyone knows my thoughts on gravel. You ride road bikes as a clue there, but I think people who like gravel are borderline serial killers, so yeah. Oh, is it delicious? Is it quenching your, quenching your thirst? This is good beer probably, but you know what's better beer is the pros closet where you can get all of your bicycle dreams met. Gravel is sweeping the world. I think a lot of countries didn't even have a word for gravel, but after I invented it, um, the sport of it, they had to name the rocks that they ride on. I'd love to know what they call gravel in Sweden. Grus. Grus. Okay, what about German? Kies. Mm. Cool, cool, cool. Ooh. Grins. Grind, that's Dutch. Well, it's funny that they spell grind. it grind. I know. So it's like that's hide gravel grind. <laughs> Italy. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, Ooh I want to get nice. some gaia. Ooh, that's exciting. I like it. What about oh, Chinese Jap is going to be hard to mm -hmm. say. Shali. Nope, it's great. Shali. Yeah, but you, you're not doing yeah, no, the tonal thing. Yeah, probably, I actually yeah. probably asked for... You probably just said... I asked for where I could buy a bicycle, and the answer would be at the pros closet. Mm -hmm. Rate these gravel expressions, because there's so many gravel expressions, it's exciting, but how we keep track of them, we rate them. Okay. Vitamin G. Oh. Uh, Grode. Grind. Gravement. Stroking. No, stoking. Grr. Bam, bam. Bush bashing. Hmm. Gravement is number one. Oh, okay, great. Bam Bam, number two. Grr, three. Bush bashing, four. Vitamin G, five. Grr, six. Tell us, rate, rate them in the comments or text us or something. Somehow you gotta rate it. Get in there, interact with us. We wanna interact with you. We wanna know how you would rate these words and this is fun because um, cause it's fun. Let's talk about gravel innovation. Let's mm -hmm. talk about, this is so, to me, you're the gravel. Um, can't be any more clear. Mm -hmm. um, it can't be any more clear that it's you're the gravel. This is one of my favorite videos. 
Get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> Why did... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that's that not so... Got bored. He but got... wait a minute. I feel like, first of all, I feel like the these race organizers are innovating. That's a fun new um, element. I can't wait till they Guys. run... You know, they should run... The next thing is you run a gravel race through one of those safari parks. <laughs> I, I was like, do you do big game? Yeah. Yeah. Like Jurassic Park can be more than a movie. You know what I mean? It's fine. I pay my entry fee. I'll just ride right into this pool. <laughs> Very important person. 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 You know who is a, um, good at gravel? A person that gravel, uh, a person of gravel interest? High graveler. A high groater. One of the priests of the grave mitt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you know who one of whatever that is that yeah. we said? Yeah. Ted King. I would agree with that. Well, that's why I did an interview with Mr. him. Mr. Maple. Hi, everyone. I'm here with Ted King. Hi, Ted King. How do you do, Daniel Wakefield Paisley? Nice to see you. Why did you ruin gravel racing? You know, uh, I, I, I stopped bike racing in 2015. Yes. And on a whim, thanks to my friend Rebecca Rush, she said, hey, Rody." come on over and do this thing called, at that point, uh, DK. The race now known as Unbound. And you have frozen, where are you at? This internet is just not gonna, was it this bad before? It's fine, it's just loading up. It's not, it's loading not up. what I would call loading. I'm here and I hear you perfectly. Okay. I think you should continue. I have a serious internet problem. Mm. Is that okay? That sounds like fun. And. In doing that event and having success in it in my first year, I remember calling a friend of mine. I was like, dude, Jim, I just won this race. It was kind of cool. And he's, he, I think he probably used the exact terms. Way to ruin gravel. If I weren't the first to do it, maybe somebody else would have done it. Somebody <laughs> was going to do it. I'm going to ask you a question. You tell me you just like kind of yes or no, or just kind of like simply gut check me. Okay. What if I said that gravel racing because of technological advancements um and because of of kind of like world tour influence in general however you d define that gravel racing has become overly fast and too similar to road racing does that feel right are you like no dude no no my gut i'm giving you gut check and usually yeah, I'll, okay. I'll give out outpouring of verbose answers i'll keep it to one word no okay i think you're wrong should we make gravel racing more exciting though should we like take this moment of reflection <sighs> gravel racing is the worst thing you can do to yourself it's gotten too easy let's dig deep and make it worser again <laughs> let's re-ruin gravel let's um, re-ruin gravel ted no what i think is ruined gravel is training for gravel is doing intervals is is this race purely for results race purely for the podium um i mean if you come out of the world tour your your fitness is so far and above everybody else's that it's like your handicap should be you're not allowed to train you can go ride your bike you can ride your bike hard you can do events but you are not allowed to ever do laps or have a coach or or do these things that are going to excel you to this next level. And, and we've already passed that barrier where that is happening. So now I'm like, oh my gosh, now I need to freaking train. Like I retired seven years ago. Why am I training for a bike race? Ted, is 2022 year of the gravel? Yes or no? No. Follow up question. What is year of the gravel? No. Will never achieve year of the gravel is what you're saying. Yes, there's there's such a there's a fluidity of to cycling, right? Like gravel in 2022 is different than 2021 is different than 2025 is different than 2015. Time is a flat circle. Yeah, I think we'll see. I real I mean, I was gonna say I think we'll see waves where it's popular and unpopular. And I realize when I go like this with my hand, this is a peak and this is a valley. So when you say like, are we at peak? Are we at the maximum peak awesomeness? Okay, what do you think, Kyle? Uh, he did have interesting and compelling points of view, Daniel.
This has been an amazing experience, Kyle. I feel like I've learned a lot about gravel. And I guess in conclusion, is this year of the gravel or is it not year of, or peak gravel? I'm not sure what, it's the same. Uh, yeah, no, I think this is the year of gravel. This is definitely 2022. This is exciting. The year of the so gravel. So many twos in this year. 2022. You know what that means? Two wheels, two cranks, two pedals, zero road. You're the gravel. Grab, grave mint. Anyways, like I was saying earlier, I think gravel, when you look at it very closely, it's mostly space. It's mostly the spaces in between the gravel. That's the thing about gravel. It's, it's a lot of emptiness. So when you're out on a gravel ride, you'll find yourself being empty. Think about that when you're going to the Hall of Fame.